The easiest way to move an object is G key on the keyboard, but it is not a very accurate and fast way because you need to change viewing angles to see if it is in accurate position. Another way is to set the cursor place where you want. Select an object and press Shift S selection to cursor. It is a good way if you don't need very accurate snapping. The accurate way to move an object to a specific destination is to select an object, select any selection way, for example vertex select, and press Shift S cursor to select it. As you can see, the cursor was precisely snapped to the vertex. And now in the object mode, you can select any object you want to snap to this place. Select any object and press Shift S. Selection to cursor. As you can see, this object was snapped to this object. It snapped to this yellow dot. It is the origin of any object. It is an object mass center. I can move this object along the i-axis to set the correct, correct position. But what if I want to change the origin position? The origin position changer you can find in object set origin. But first I need to specify in which place origin will be snapped. So need to set the cursor place to snapping place. So make the same as before. Go to edit mode. Select a place where your origin want to be. For example, this face center. So press Shift S and cursor to select it and switch back to object mode. Click object, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. And now you can snap this object precisely to another object. A very good tip for multiply objects. If you choose selection to cursor, keep offset. Both objects keep a distance from each other. Another quick way if you, I have multiply objects and want to move to the same place, I can select all objects and the last selected will be active object. If I press the right mouse button and click snap selection to active, all selected objects will be snapped to active place. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned something. If you want to learn more, don't forget to subscribe.